everyone, if you've watched previously you will know that I made this little banqueting table to go into my Tudor doll's house and I asked for some feedback on it because I felt like it maybe needed weathering a little bit and I felt that it needed some of these panels to go along the bottom to make it a little bit more authentic. So in today's video I'm going to be adding these details and I'm also going to be making some little benches to sit alongside the table. So here I'm just using some kebab skewers that I've had in a cupboard for ages. They are the thick ones that go with barbecues, not the really skinny pointy ones, but they're really easy to cut with these wood cutters. And I'm just going to measure them by eye and put them in between the gaps where the legs are. And I am then going to paint them up so that they match the rest of the table. After that, I will think about weathering the table and also making the matching benches. I measured by eye because the feet of my table are made out of poppy seed heads and each one is a slightly different size and angle. So I just trimmed down until I was happy with the angle and the size of each piece of wood. two options for my design now. I could either put a piece of wood down the middle like this or I could have two more pieces of wood running between each pair of legs. So I actually decided to go with the two pieces of wood. I'm not sure why, I just decided to. Um, I've seen examples of both when I've been doing research so I thought I'd do it like this. There will still be room for my benches to, to slide underneath the table a little bit. I just used some of my multi-purpose glue to add a little bit of glue at each end of each stick and then I carefully stuck it down in place. Whilst those pieces of wood were drying, I made a start on the benches. So I used this same pine that I used for the tabletop. This is from B&Q's recycling bin where you just leave a little donation. Now I used three widths of it to make the tabletop. I'm just going to use one width for each bench. So I've just made a little mark there to know where to cut it. And I'm going to use my granddad's old saw, which has come in so useful for all of this doll's housing, and my little mitre block. The mitre block should really be secured down in place, but I am doing this on my dining room table. No wonder my tabletop is in such a mess. Any recommendations on how to restore a table top that's made out of a veneer, they would be more than welcome. Um, probably the suggestions would be don't use your dining room table for doing your crafting, but there we go. I normally put a bit of blue tack under the mitre block to keep it still, um, but I don't know where I've put my blue tack, so I just wanted to get on. There we go. Okay, that's the two benches, or the two tops of the benches that are equal in size now. For the foot of the bench, I'm using a kebab skewer again. This is the end of it that you hold because it's a bit wider. So I'm just going to trim four of these because I need two for each bench. The parts that I've just trimmed won't be positioned here, but I'm just going to put it here whilst I measure up how big this little leg needs to be. So this is the other part of the kebab skewer. But what I'm going to do is make this double the thickness. So I'm going to use two of these for each leg.
glued each pair together to make each little leg and then left them to dry before sanding down the edges. I didn't record it on camera but I rounded off the edges of these little feet just by rubbing them against sandpaper and then I took everything outside to use my Dremel to give it a good sand down to add some aging. So this was the table that I'd already made and what I'm using here is the round sanding barrel to just take that right angled edge away from the table to add a little bit of weathering to it as if it's been worn away over time and as if it's been chiselled out of a larger piece of wood. Also sanded away at a bit of the tabletop just to take away the smooth finish and to make sure that it looked a little bit more of its time. Before gluing all of the pieces of the benches together I gave these little legs a sand down so that each side of them were the same level and to take away any sharp edges. I used my multi-purpose glue to glue the legs down and the feet as well. I did this with the bench upside down initially and then once they had dried a little bit I flipped the bench the right way around to make sure that it was standing steadily as it dried. this process for the second bench and I then added the bar along the bottom between the two legs. I used a little block of wood underneath the bar to hold it in this position whilst it dried. It meant that it stayed at the correct height and I used the same size block of wood to do the same on the second bench. When everything was dry I used my raw rumber acrylic paint to paint the benches up. Once that was dry I then sanded them back down so that they matched the table. And once everything was in the same condition I used a wash of the brown acrylic paint to go back over the areas that had been sanded away to make that weathered effect on all of the furniture. set finished so now it's time to put it back into the doll's house to see how it looks. From this angle it looks enormous so I will move the camera in a second so that you can see the scale. decided to only set four places at the table so that there's some room for some food on the table when I make it and I'm not putting any forks out as they weren't used in the Tudor era. So this is the finished table and benches. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think about them. If you've not already, please do hit subscribe to watch the next videos that are coming soon. Thank you.